Hi Aries Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care 144, very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Aries, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a six card spread. I have already pre-shuffled this deck here. I'm gonna shuffle just a few more times split the deck and we will begin your reading. So for your first card, and I will not be doing reversals, we have the Three of Wands. So I'm getting manifesting, and with the Three Energy, I'm also getting manifesting collaboration as a part of your gifts coming in. This is also about ships coming in. And I'm also getting Empress energy with the Empress card being a three energy. The Empress is a very magnetic, creative, beautiful, loving, nurturing, kind-hearted, intelligent, beautiful soul who is very benevolent as well. And I just feel that um, with all that it is that you have been giving, you're now in this beautiful place of receiving, having manifested this for sure. This is your energy here with the wands and then also Sagittarius, uh, excuse me, Leo and Ephucus. 33, um, I'm getting that connected to Virgo energy with that three and that three coming together to create a six, six house energy of Virgo. And so that also being a part of healer energy. Feeling on top of the world here too as well. Beautiful energy. So you have great things coming in. You've done the hard work. Beautiful manifesting energy. This is also Gemini energy here too. Your second card. We have the King of Swords. And so with this, I'm just getting um, this coming after this three of wands that you are, it's a part of that intellect and a part of that uh, utilization of the tools that the Empress has along with that magician energy, having all of the elements and using what is best at any particular time that you're following your guidance and um, moving accordingly too. So being in this King of Swords, I'm just getting you uh, protecting what it is that you have been working towards, what you've been manifesting and making sure it stays that way and not afraid to do so because you don't live in fear. You're fearless. You know the truth from within yourself. You stand by the truth and you walk in truth and that truth is everything. And it's also a way of you being able to manifest and bring in what it is that is rightfully yours, your rightful abundance here. Being very strong in this too. This isn't the, the Queen of Swords. This is the King of Swords. So really having a hard boundaries when it comes to your manifestations and what it is that you stand for and just not taking any crap. You don't have time for it. You've gone through many transformations that have gotten you to this King of Swords here too. I do feel that you're also gaining interest in other things and expanding yourself, expanding the mindset, expanding communication, continue to continuing to, to really power forward into what it is that you want to do because there may have been, um, you know, just a lot of energies that were wanting to interfere with your journey here and what it is that you have going for yourself. So... This being a part of this king energy, this is a part of emperor energy. So very beautifully, 
We have you being balanced here with the Empress energy and then also the Emperor energy here. That sword is very mighty. It's very big. And I just feel it's the build-up energy of all the truths that you stand for and represent. And continuing to show this. And again, if it's not of integrity and wants to come around, you're cutting it off and removing it from your atmosphere. Staying protected and staying safe and continuing to do what it is that you do. Your third card. And you keep going. <laughs> so you have this beautiful set boundary. This is the set intent, but also seeing your wishes and your dreams and your abundance come through protecting this and again continuing to move forward and move forward successfully here continuing to build knowing that you've created the protective space but that you're also safe and protected given that you stand in this truth and you are of integrity here and the expansiveness also too so for a lot of you I'm just getting you having great interest in other things and wanting to move into that and continuing to go Continuing to go forward and to work on that money. Work on your pinnacles here. And this is a pinnacle energy. This is money energy. But pinnacles can also be about that abundance there too. As we do have the um, energy of those six pinnacles that are lined up along the tree here. Where I feel that that's about the work that you put in when it comes to balance the balance being right here with the feminine and masculine energy that came through here with the empress and the emperor here hard work paying off here too you put a lot of great hard work into what it is that you do and it shows and it's just a part of who it is that you are very dedicated you come a long way and because of this too i feel that motivates you to continue to do even more and to keep going strong Fulfilling your soul's purpose. That being connected to the eighth there too with Scorpionic energy, eighth house energy of Scorpio. And that possibly being tied to occult energy, mysticism. And then Pentacles energy is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. The crown is very lit here too. So I just feel that again with that balance there, you're bringing it all together and putting putting great efforts and work into this. And you're seeing your hard efforts and all your hard work pay off as above, so as below. That a part of the eight energy there too as well with the eight representing the infinity symbol. I'm also seeing... Um, Feminine energy in that three, in that empress energy, but then also a five connected to the hair font and spirituality. So that also being a uh, being tied to that scorpionic energy there too as well. And commitment. It's standing for commitment and loyalty and dedication. Staying true to yourself and staying focused. Your fourth card. Two of Pentacles. So we have you here also being very balanced. Being the uh, great magician that it is that you are. That eight being right there in between those two Pentacles. And we have those six Pentacles here. And this eight of Pentacles along uh, the tree here. And one Pentacle already being accomplished here. Having, I feel like, you know... With me saying that too, um, I feel like you just have manifested this pinnacle here and the one that you're currently working on. These being those two pinnacles that are here and this uh, two of pinnacles here. So um, doing the best that you can with that as above, so as below and working on two particular situations that are bringing in great finances for you. But also this speaking to the balance from within oneself and how it is that you're manifesting. The infinity symbol is also above the magician's head and the uh, Gemini energy that's coming here from that magician energy, this being a magician card in itself of manifesting here. 
So you just being very well put together in the midst of any kind of storm, any kind of wave, you got this because of the way that you set yourself up here and continue to stay focused, having set very hard boundaries, but also putting great love into yourself and wanting to do more and learn more. Learning from the past with those transformations, but knowing that what you put in is what you get out. So beginning with this beautiful divine feminine energy, and then we have divine masculine energy and just really putting that work in and it being right here too with this two of pentacles of great balance. And also just very strong energy I'm getting with that infinity symbol where it just you just continue to bring in that flow. You stay with the flow. You're in a great flow here, no matter how wavy these waters are. And I'm also seeing those ships that are that are here and present and that also being representative of this three of wands card here too. Again, Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Being, uh, being very stable here too. And I feel that one of these things that you're moving greatly into with that eight energy and the Scorpionic energy, this also being air energy connected to that uh, intuitiveness here too and that King of Swords. So a lot of you working on that uh, greater intuition, building yourself up spiritually here, connected to the two energy that is a part of high priestess energy and it's also right before the empress energy. So we have magician energy as the one, high priestess energy as the two, empress energy as the three. Beautiful energy here. You just know what you're doing. Your fifth card, and I was going to say too, I was trying to feel the energy of the four. We have this as the fourth card here. And the energy of four comes from the emperor energy. So with this being here, this just being a great boss in itself. This is also a part of that king energy here too, with the king, all four kings bringing, uh, coming together and making up the emperor energy here. So you have it all here. And that just speaking to how it is that you have it all together, how you built yourself on great foundation and continue to manifest and bring in, you know, what you wish to see for yourself, no matter what the case, no matter what the situation. Your fifth card. We have the world. So staying balanced, and I feel this is a part of that wavy energy. Um, a lot of you doing the great work that it takes to fulfill yourself and your dreams and your goals. But in the midst of this, one of those other pinnacles I feel is connected to your abundance and having to do with you closing major karmic cycles here. But this is great fulfillment and great joy and great happiness. Building yourself up here too, as I'm seeing the two wands here. And that also I'm getting being connected to this magician energy here with that infinity symbol and those two pinnacles there. So doing the hard work that it takes to elevate yourself that being connected to that high priestess energy. High priestess is also counterpart energy to that Hierophant energy here too. So that being even more balanced and speaking to the great, greater heightened spirituality from within yourself with the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant and the high priestess. This is so beautiful. And now that you've completed this and worked so hard on this, you're being blessed with even more gifts here and walking through another portal uh, here, being blessed and move through another portal here too, because there's no walking here. There's easy gliding here. And speaking to you being safe and protected and covered, but you've done great su successful work. And now I just feel that, um, you know, you're an Olympian, <laughs> you're the champ, you're the champion. So feeling like, a, you know, the champion that you are and also receiving the recognition that you rightfully deserve. Empress energy is a part of this too here with this being a card of 21 and coming together to make a three, but it also comes together to create a one and that's speaking to your Aries energy, but you also being that great champion, being the first, being the alpha and being seen for this, where you, you may have been mistaken in the past and you just continuing to, you know, put the fire into what it is that you really truly are uh, passionate about and fulfilling your soul's purpose, doing the work and seeing the reward and the success. The two wands energy, I'm just getting that being a part of you gaining um, almost like another trophy here. 
But having this magician wand already and now gaining another one here as a part of that prize. This is super beautiful. And saying goodbye to the past, happy to say goodbye to the past. Gracefully saying goodbye to the past here too. There's a lot of 10 energy in here too. So that just gives me the Capricorn energy where that could be connected to releasing, you know, toxic karmic cycles with the uh, devil energy coming through, that being a card of Capricorn. But I'm also getting, with those tens, there being a lot of endings and new beginnings where you're moving into a uh, greater energy of a Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles life. Very, very happy. And with this coming under the King of Swords and that hard set of, you know, having boundaries, really closing those cycles to make sure that you see yourself through and that success for yourself that you know is going to bring in even more abundance for you. What you put in is what you get out. And that eight energy representing that here and then also that representing that here. I feel that's also a part of your communication and what it is that you may do and how you deliver that message just by being the example. But then you may also be speaking on this here too as well. The uh, O energy, I'm getting that also being connected to the full energy and you taking a leap of faith. So that just coming back to that King of Swords and that expansiveness and you moving into greater heightened spirituality, answering the call and being more than happy to do so, but making sure that you set those boundaries and close those cycles so that it is uninterrupted and you do receive that reward that is meant for you. And we have a, a word tour <laughs> by a tribe called Quest playing right now, which is super dope. Let's move this over a little bit and we'll get to your last card here. Your sixth card. Look at that. You're just a complete balanced bang. Because we have that Empress energy right here. The champion energy with you and your Aries energy and that one as well. One and three coming together too, where I'm getting this O also representing a Fucus energy with it being the 13th sign. And that 13th energy also representing strong divine feminine energy here. So you being very much in your power, where I feel that you have dealt with a lot of masculine energies that, um, and this could, you could be male or female here. And I feel that has to do with the um, programming, the 3D programming and being here in this lifetime and really busting through and doing the work that it takes to bring light and truth to any kind of illusions that have to do with feminine energies, feminine placements, masculine placements, false perceptions. This also being connected to the tower energy and that being a card of 16 which is super dope. So I feel that this is, you know, a way that you're also exemplifying very strongly how to do what it is that you're doing and doing it very successfully here. But this is straight boss here. And this is your energy here. This being a card of Aries. Beautiful that this is the last card here too, because I feel this is about that champion energy and you reaching the goal, going through that portal and this being the reward the major reward, you being the trophy, you are the trophy and you have the power, you gain greater tools, you gain greater knowledge, you've done the work, you stayed the course. Wow, this is great. But uh, having major accomplishments and success, you're a great business person, you're a great builder, you're one who is able to work together well with others, you know what you're doing and you know, um, once you see something and realize, you know, whether or not it's a great investment, you go for what it is that you know. But I'm just getting this as being the ultimate accomplishment here. And you being very strong in your power. Aries energy here. And this being that four. <laughs> this, is, this being that final four that's coming through here. That was being um, sensed, especially with that king of swords there. And then even with this two and this two here, it's in it's in all of you, like it's in every card here. And I feel that just speaks to the unity from within yourself and the wholeness 
that you really have accomplished. And congratulations. This is great success here. Beautiful energy here. But how you're also being seen. And so with this energy um, being from within you, I'm also getting to that a lot of you may be, um, you know, just surrounding yourself with this, um, uh, this emperor energy here and making sure with this king of sword energy here that, you know, where it is that you're moving towards, how much work you put in, that you're only surrounded with this particular energy here on levels of integrity and greater heightened spirituality. Those who, you know, mean what they say and they do what they do. And they follow through. It's all respect. It's all love. It's all integrity. And putting the fire into action to make things happen. Not wasting time. Because time is very, 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 very precious. And of the essence. And every minute counts. And you knowing this. This is strong father energy here too. So take what resonates. Um, you know, again, this could be a man or woman. So this could be also representing a great mother here too, because we do have the balance here that just continues to fall, uh, flow through this reading here for you with emperor and empress energy here. So being a great parent, I should say, but also representing, um, you know, uh, being a great leader. You're a great leader and you're being seen for this. And um, I just feel you continue to grow with this. It just continues to grow. You just continuing to do the work, leveling yourself up, gaining greater, doing greater, and seeing greater for yourself. And it feels great. Happiness and joy. Beautiful reading, Aries Moons. This is so pretty. Let's see what we have on the bottom. <laughs> now I'm not taking reversals but this was in reverse and this is a fire energy this is Sagittarius energy um, for a lot of you there's a couple things that just came through but I'm getting you know this being the energy of the fire from within you and not having that patience you know really I feel that you've been patient enough and that did want to come through here with that three of wands there and you having to set boundaries dealing with uh, outside energies that, um, you know, may have felt like they were getting in the way, but you realizing that that energy lives within you until you doing the internal work to make sure and setting boundaries and being successful at this so much so that we have this beautiful following here, but being impatient when it comes to you wanting to really fulfill your soul's purpose and get things done and reach the goal. So you just being that champion that you are and taking the lead, taking the reins. And like I'm hearing, I'll show you how to do this, son. <laughs> Let me show you how to do this. And you did it. And then for some of you, I'm getting you having a connection here that or had a connection with this being in reverse. It's being a twin flame energy where I feel that you have decided to end something when it came to a twin flame here. And this being a part of a contract energy with this being a 14 coming together to create a five. Working on a new one is where that five is with that here front energy. Working on a new contract and, you know, putting that work in, taking that leap of faith, knowing what it may bring. Those being a part of the waves, you knowing that your ships are coming in, you staying very balanced and continuing to stay strong and that as above, so is below. High priestess connected to the mindset there too but also staying in grace and again, giving the keys to go through that portal there and you just completing those, those beautiful karmic cycles very successfully and being very, 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 very happy <laughs> and celebrated, celebrating here too as well. Overjoyed with that O there too. Beautiful energy here. All right. So Aries Moons, this was your reading, Emperors slash Empress. Very whole and balanced here. This is so beautiful and so pretty. I hope that these messages were enjoyable, enlightening, enriching, and empowering for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Keep going strong. Take great care. I love you. Peace.